Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened tech hit to find out just how big of an improvement this EZA has made. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I do want to quickly talk about his details. So, if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. Alright, so starting with his leader skill, it is Universe 6 Category Key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%, or Universe Survival Saga Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 160%. His Super Attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and his passive is Attack and Defense plus 20% per Universe 6 Category Ally, attacking in the same turn, medium chance of stunning all enemies when all allies attacking in the same turn are Universe 6 category characters, plus an additional attack and defense plus 160% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 80% and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned, attacked enemies attack minus 20% and defense minus 80% for 2 turns, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy for 1 turn. And as you can see, uh, his links are all at level 1 because I basically haven't used this guy since uh, maybe a few months after his release because I was just so disappointed with his performance that I never wanted to run him until now where I have a reason to with the Extreme Z Awakening, right? So that is the Easy 8 tech hit and uh, this is the team we're going to bring into the uh, Warriors, or sorry, Universe 6 Super Bad Road stage. And the friend here is also rainbowed with slightly better links, not by much though. And uh, he obviously went with a more defensive setup here. So with that said guys, let's jump in, let's do this, and hopefully we get hit on the first rotation. We do. And uh, okay, so I'm probably going to put hit in the second slot. I'm thinking that makes a lot more sense. Actually, I mean, there's only one attack. The thing with Hit is that he's not a very good first slot unit. Like, he's he's okay in the first slot, as you can see. He still has over 100,000 defense here, but he gets most of his defense boost from a super attack, right? So, um, if that first attack from Tien is a super, we're probably dead. There's like a 90% chance he's going to kill us. But if it's not a super, then we get to see how good defensively or how good his defense is after he super attacks. So I think I'm not going to use an item. We're going to risk it. Hopefully it doesn't uh, come back to bite us. So here we go. Let's go for Krillin with the first attack. And then we'll go for 18 with Kaba and uh, Roshi with uh, Khalifla. Okay, no super, please. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we took almost 100k from a normal attack. Yeah, so like I said, man, if that was a super, it would have been over for us. It, it would have been over. Over. But luckily it wasn't, so we're good. And uh, <clears throat> as far as hits attack stat goes, that was close to 6 million, right? That was almost 6 mil attack stat on the first turn. And this is without the stuns either. He gets an additional 80% attack with a stun. So I can only imagine, um, you know, how much, how much attack he would have had if the enemy was stunned. That's why additionals makes more sense for the hit because if he gets the stun with the first super, then the second super will be boosted. So uh, that's how I built my hit. I think that's how most people built their hits. And uh, that's what I would recommend. All right. So uh, on this turn, we don't have to worry about any attacks because as you can see, all the enemies are stunned and uh, let's go for yeah, let's go for piccolo here we can probably kill him with one super and then we will target uh roshi i guess and i'll give these orbs to the kale and khalifla all right show me what you got man 6.5 there you go and this is without support so if we had the kaba support we would have had over 7 million attack this turn, guys. We would have had over 7 million attack. Which is pretty awesome. 
So, yeah, I mean, Hit is uh, really good now. It's, it's weird to say, but <laughs> he's an amazing unit now, guys. Not a great first slot unit once again, which is obviously <clears throat> one knock you can have against him, but I mean, at this point, we're really just nitpicking, right? We're really just looking for reasons to uh, criticize him because overall, he's, he's really amazing. And if you run him with like a good... Uh, slot one unit that can you know take attacks before they super and put hit in the second slot like as a slot two unit consistently then he's gonna be good to go because after he supers he is ridiculously tanky you know he's gonna have a lot of defense like close to probably 300,000 when rainbowed and uh, that is more than good enough for most things in this game right so that was the first stage uh Pretty good, no items used so far. Uh, second phase, Ugh, five enemies again, I forgot that uh, this stage was like this. Okay, so I'm thinking we pop an item this turn just cause I'm a little bit concerned about uh, that Goku in the first slot. Although if we leave Khalifla there with a dodge chance, she should be okay. But I also want to keep Botamageta <laughs> and Hit together because they share four links. So, hmm, let me think about this for a second. I, I guess we can, let's go for an Icarus, why not? Just to be safe. And uh, we'll go for Frieza here. Let's target Gohan with Botamageta and then we'll go for Goku with Khalifla. Yeah, you know that 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 was a good call. That that Icarus was a good call because 32k with an Icarus, so without an Icarus, uh, easily over 100k, I'm sure. Yeah, probably over 100k. It's 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 unfortunate. It's unfortunate that he doesn't get more defense in the first slot, but maybe that would have made him too broken. Because I mean, just look at his offense, right? Just look at his damage. Um, the damage he's doing, like he's basically one-shotting everybody right now. Oof. See, that would have really hurt too. Of course, Khalifa does not dodge the super, because why would she, right? Why, why dodge the super when you can just dodge normals and take every super attack? That's kind of how these units work. Um, 108,000. Oh, everyone's stunned. Everyone's stunned, perfect. So let's go for... Uh, let's take out Goku this turn. Yeah, let's take out Goku, so we don't have to worry about him. I'm pretty sure he hits the hardest out of all these guys remaining. And, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, um... That's... That's a lot of damage, guys. That's that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Insert the Phil Swift meme. Wait, is it Phil Swift? What's his name again? I don't remember. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. The guy that goes, that's a lot of damage. He starts, like, destroying things. Anyways, uh, that was a lot of damage. That was <clears throat> more than I could have expected. I was thinking, like, maybe we hit 7 mil. But that was close to 8. And this is the hit that doesn't have uh, an attack skill orb. He went more defensive. So if this was my hit in this situation with the level 5 attack skill orb, then we should easily be getting 8+, plus, right? It should have been over 8+, plus easy, so... Okay. So, so that, that, that's what Hit's doing now. <laughs> this is, this is what, what, what Hit's got going on after the EZA. Um, I'm really happy about this, guys. Uh, I'm very... Very happy about this, man. I, I've liked Hit forever. You know, he's always been one of my uh, favorite new characters from Dragon Ball Super. Um, and I've just felt like it was a shame that he never had this, like, really good, you know, character in, in Dokkan. Really good unit in Dokkan. And now we have it. And it's the same unit that existed in the game. It's just with an Extreme Z Awakening now. Okay, so apparently Kale's going to go off. I... <laughs> I just wanted her to take a couple of attacks so that Hit didn't get killed, but she decided to finish off 17 by herself, which I guess is fine. 
Okay, so last stage, only two enemies. Now, one of them is a Beerus, but at the same time, they're both stunned. So, we're good to go. Let's uh, actually go for Beerus, because we do have type advantage, or rather, uh, attacks effective against all when the enemies are stunned. So, we should still be able to do some really good damage to him, especially with the support here. 7.8 once again. It's a shame that my hit's not here, because it would have been over 8 million, guys. It would have been over 8 million easy. Uh... Ooh, okay, so we didn't quite kill Beerus, but we came pretty close. We came pretty damn close. I think Khalifla might be able to finish him off here. If she gets a crit, maybe. Oh, so close. So close. Alright, um... Oh, we got this done again. Alright, so... I think in this case we go for Whis to potentially take him out, and then the attack after can uh, finish off Beerus. So we are gonna two-turn this last phase, guys. Yeah, two turns is all it's gonna take to finish off Beerus and Whis. Or maybe not. Whis has more HP than I thought, too. Wow. All right. Okay, so we might, we, we might need three turns. Yeah, we might need three turns. That's my mistake. Still pretty good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, these guys uh, are a little bit better, or a little bit more tanky, I guess. Or just more HP, actually. They have a little bit more HP than I was expecting. So it will take one more turn to get this done. Ooh, okay, so. Yo, are they stunned again? They're stunned again. Three turns in a row with the guaranteed, or not guaranteed, but with the uh, all stun passive going off, it's a medium chance, which is 30%. So, I mean, someone do the math out there, man. Like, what are the chances that a 30% you know, proc rate goes off three times in a row? It's got to be pretty low. It, 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 it's got to be pretty damn low, but we got it, man. <laughs> We got it. Yo, sometimes UI Goku doesn't get his 70% chance to dodge like three times in a row, which is inconceivable to me. But then you get situations like this where you have a 30% chance to stun everybody, and it happens three times. So, there you go, guys. Tech Hit is a monster. He is amazing. The only criticism you can have is that, you know, you can't really afford to put him in the first slot in some events. Um, because he will get you killed, but after he supers, he gets so much defense. Obviously, on the super, he gets so much attack, and uh, he's an amazing leader for universe 6 with a key plus 4, and 170% across the board. Um, he has an insanely high chance to, to uh, stun, right? He has a 65% chance, I believe, uh, on average, to stun the attacked enemy, and of course, if you're running a universe 6 team, then you have that 30% chance to just stun everybody, um, before you even attack. So that can be really clutch as you just saw in the last phase here. So, I mean, what else is there really to say, man? Tech hit is amazing now. We have an amazing hit in this game. We're getting another really good hit with the uh, LR Super Saiyan God Goku and hit, but honestly, man, I don't even really care about that unit right now. Like, I just... <sighs> I'm so happy that this guy is uh, as good as he is, as he turned out as good as he did, so that's the video guys, that's all I can really say, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your experience with Hit so far has been, uh, are you impressed, are you as impressed as I am, or do you think he could be even better, I mean I have a hard time really finding any issues with him, the only one that I keep you know, going back to, because that really is the only problem, is that he could be better in the first slot before he supers, but that's it. That's it. Aside from that, he is perfect the way he is. And uh, that's it, guys. That is going to be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. 
And uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.